Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in our last video we sort of put together this little headline divider right here. Nice little thing to put on your site. Today we're going to do something similar. We're going to use a divider and create an icon divider. Now these are great to have on your site. Put different icons in. They're really eye catching and pretty easy to do too. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, I'm just going to go down. I've got a row here with my two little elements in it. I'm just going to go in and delete those and we'll start from scratch. So I've just got a row with a single column in it here. First thing I want to do is put a divider in there. Divi comes with all these modules as standard plenty enough to build just about any sort of site. If you're selling products and have WooCommerce installed, it adds another dozen or so to it. So I want the divider today. There it is right there. Once that's in there, I'm not going to do a whole lot to it. Don't need a link or a background. I'm going to go to the design. I'm going to make it blue. Keep it solid. I'm going to go down to sizing, make it a bit wider there with the, the weight. Bring it up to about 5 so we can see it. Great. We want it in the middle. And also I'm going to put it in the center of the actual module itself. That's great. So we've got our line now. Now the next thing I want to do is add an icon. Now there's no quick way of doing that or a button. I'm just going to add a new module. I'm going to use the blurb module because it has an icon with it. I'm going to go in. I'm going to delete all this unless of course you want to add some text to yours also. So I've deleted the title. I'm deleting the body content. I'm going to scroll down a little bit further. I'm still on the content. I'm going to select use icon. And here we have all elegant seams, nice icon. Just choose wh whichever icon you want to use. I'll use that one. And again, I don't want a link. I don't want to put it in a background. And I don't want to give it an admin label. So I'm going to go on to my design tab here. Now I'm going to match it with the color of my divider right there. So I'm going to go to an image and icon make it blue. If you want to you can circle it and if you use a border you can use you can get some nice little circle effects going. Let's put a blue border on there and if you put the background color to the same as the background of your site you've got a circled icon so if you wanted to use a circle icon you could do that. I'm not going to do that today but it's another little option for you. Placement and alignment are absolutely fine. I am going to take it down a little bit in size, a little bit too big. I'm going to take it down to say 60 pixels. Yeah, that's a little more like it. Okay, well at the moment it's fine, but we want it to be on top of our divider. And we also want a bit of sort of white space around it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to size still on the design tab. I'm going to make this say 100 pixels wide. And as you can see it scooted it to the left because it's actually only 100 pixels wide now instead of the full width of the column that it's in. Height wise now we made our font 60 pics so I just want it a bit bigger than that so I'm going to give it 65 pics so we can put content below it and it doesn't intrude too much. Great. Now what we need to do is pop it into the middle module alignment here and we're still in the sizing. Now we need to go up just down a little bit further to spacing and we're going to give it a negative margin on the top to pull it up. So we'll go into spacing there's the margin, there's the top. 
So I'm going to give it, say, negative, we'll try negative 70. Gosh, that is pretty much spot on. That was a pretty lucky guess right there. Okay, that's fine, but a couple of things. Our line is still visible through it. And we gave this a width of 100 picks. So I want a bit of space between the divider. So we want to make sure our blurb has got a background that's the same as our page, which is white there. So we'll go to content, we'll go to background, we'll go to white. And it's still not showing through, which means our divider is on top or in front of our icon. Now to change that, we're still in our blurb and our icon. We can go to our advanced and change the Z index. And this is down to position. Here's our Z index. And we can bring it up until it's in front of or above our line there. You can use your little slider like this if you want to. And there you are. You can see it's now above with that white space showing, giving it a gap there. I just slide that back behind in front. And that's what your Z index does with your website. Decides where elements are forward or backwards on the site. So we've pretty much got what we want there. The only other thing I will show you is if you wanted more white space there, just go back into your design, to your sizing, and increase the width of it. So if I decrease, and as I increase, you get more space. And if there's not enough there for you, just type in whatever value you want. And you can do it that way. But I was pretty happy with about 100 there, so I'm going to leave it at that. Well, let's save our changes. And this will now be good. This will work on a full row. It's pretty responsive. And it'll, if we change the row to a double row, it'll work on a double and a triple, as you can see below is a triple. Now, when you get to four, it'll still work, but it's up to you. I would probably bring the font size down on that icon there, just make it a bit smaller. But like I say, that's responsive, so you can use it all over your site there. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.